Now to a heartbreaking experience for an expecting San Marcos mother whose child died in her womb. They have 10 little fingers, 10 little toes. Um, they were perfect. They just didn't have a heartbeat. <laughs> And it has happened before, but this time the family says the way the hospital handled it left them devastated. And they tell KXAN they've waited for weeks to find out what happens to their baby boy. As KXAN's Arzo Dost uncovered, it's complicated. Is he your brother? Yeah. They are the few things. You see this one? Audrey Thornton has to remember her little boy. Those are his little footprints. Baby Carson was just 16 weeks old. This is his blanket. Audrey found out he had no heartbeat three weeks ago. She had her baby boy the next day at Central Texas Medical Center in San Marcos and has been trying to find out what happened to him ever since. Just wanted to know what my options were so that my baby could be at peace. The family says they called the hospital several times looking for answers and finally heard back on Wednesday after our calls. Having to bug people to find out where my son is and what the next step was, I think is the worst part. Um. A spokesperson with the hospital gave us this statement from the president and CEO. It says all of us at CTMC grieve with the Thorntons regarding their loss. Our chief nurse and I met with the family last week to discuss their concerns and we have been finalizing funeral arrangements since. We're working diligently to provide the family with a thoughtful and dignified resolution to a very difficult situation. A spokesperson says due to state guidelines, it took longer than expected. We were able to identify a provider earlier this week and have been in contact multiple times since to discuss their desires for next steps. Now we scoured the Texas Department of Health handbook on fetal registration and found the state does not recognize a fetus as stillborn until 20 weeks. Before that, it's considered a miscarriage. Did the hospital communicate to you that because of state guidelines, it was taking longer than expected? No. The Thorntons have experienced this pain before. Last September, they lost another baby boy at 18 weeks. Audrey delivered him at Seton and Kyle and says her experience there was much different. A social worker came in and we are given a, a beautiful lost box. Audrey says Seton buried her little boy with other baby angels. She hopes her voice now. That they made that day awful, um, even worse than it already was, um, helps another parent. I hope that nobody else has to go through what we went through and we're still going through. Now the spokesperson at the Central Texas Medical Center says the hospital is taking a very close look at its policy and will make sure this doesn't happen again. As for baby Carson, he will be cremated. The family is hoping it will be in the next day or two. CTMC is picking up the cremation bill and will also pay for a landscaper to expand an angel garden at the family's home. Arzo Dos, KXAN News. Doesn't make it any less painful, but miscarriages and stillbirths are more common than you might think, and there is a difference. As Arzo mentioned, when a pregnancy is lost before 20 weeks, it is considered a miscarriage. Between 10 and 20 percent of pregnancies end in a miscarriage. Most of those happen within 12 weeks. When a baby is lost after 20 weeks, it is considered a stillbirth. One in 160 pregnancies end in stillbirth.